Hey what is up guys this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you three different tips that you can use to speed up your workflow in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. The first one is expanding track. So when we are working in Adobe Premiere Pro we need to expand the track to see the clips clearly right. So in that kind of scenario what do we do we take our mouse cursor here and then we click and drag to expand the track but if you just double click on it it will expand automatically and if you want to shrink it again if you just double click on it it will shrink if you want to have better control on it then you can press alt and then scroll your mouse wheel then you can fine tune the expenditure of your track the second one is swapping the clip suppose i have worked on this sequence and after a certain time i have realized that i have used this clip by mistake and i really want to change this clip if I want to change it from the scratch, then I need to move all these clips. Then again, I need to drag this clip here. And again, I need to clear the gaps. That is a hassle, right? But you can easily swap any clip if you want to change it. Just double click on your clip, then make an in point and out point that you want to use for that sequence. Then press Alt and drag this clip on the clip that you want to change. See the magic. The clip has been changed from the previous one to the new one. Hope this helps. The last one is track targeting when we are working we use arrow key a lot right so if you just press up and down arrow key then it will go to the next edit point but it will just follow the first track if you want to follow the second track or the third track edit point then it will not work because you have actually enabled track targeting for v1 only i mean first video track if you want to follow the second video track or the third video track then disable the first video track then enable second one or third one whatever you want so that is the thing if you want to scroll to the edit point of your second video track or third video track you need to enable track targeting for that exact track so that is all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye